Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. Today we're going to talk about all the apps I use uh, all the time and you know how I set my screen up. Uh, so basically all my phones look alike that I can find stuff. Uh, we're going to look at the new mobile G3, so things are going to be a little more cramped on that screen. Uh, but still, you'll get the gist of it. No, you don't necessarily have to. These are not must-have apps, but they're must-have if you shoot photos, want to put logos on, if you want to edit some videos out, you know, things like that. And on that note, let's get right to the intro, and uh, make sure you read the description below so you can learn about cool things like the Impulse Selfie Sticks, the Zedio Tripod, the phones we do have, and uh, maybe uh, look at that link uh, on that page. It uh, has our donation uh, section. And you can donate a few bucks to keep us going until our unemployment kicks in. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Let's get to that intro. Enough talking. All right, folks, I'm back. I'm going to do most of this two-handed and try not to run into the tripod too often. Uh, so this is our uh, new mobile G3. Pretty nice little phone here. I like it. Had it for a long time. It works. Uh... 5.77 inch display, but the bottom line here is you'll see it's laid out kind of like uh, you'd get with a well, how I lay out my uh, Android ones, um, except this is not an Android one, we're just running Windows 8 and uh, we're using the uh, um, Nova Launcher Prime worth every penny. Make sure you get yourself Google Rewards. So we got all our basic apps. Some of them may be a little hard to identify because of the uh, smoking glass that I, icon pack that I have on here. I got a nice dark wallpaper to save on juice. But we got our phone, Messenger, our messages. This one will take us over to our Google News, our Chrome, and our internal camera. And we got all our Oh boy, didn't want, see, I'm gonna, yeah, we didn't want to do that. We got all our Google Apps right there, and then we have our contacts, Messenger, and our Play Store. Up there in the corner, we got Radar now. That's kind of a handy weather one, and our settings. And you're surprisingly gonna find that I don't use that many apps. That's all of them, folks. Uh, now, they're a little more crammed on here than they would be on, say, the Mi A2 or the Mi A3 or anything larger than that. But up here we've got our network poopy, and a speed test, network info too, very handy. You hit that, it'll tell you what IP you're on. I don't use VNC Viewer anymore, uh, but it's there. A to 64, multi-touch tester, M22, Geekbench 5, yada yada. Uh, games you can ignore. I don't really play games. The only reason you'd see games on here are because I ran a gaming test at some point. And I probably could get rid of them. AirDroid, that's how I transfer files. And that's where Network Info 2 comes into play. So you know where the local network AirDroid is sitting. HP Smart, use it at work. I can check ink levels and things like that. Open camera, that's for shooting video. Works great. Right next to that's PowerDirector Pro. Yeah, it'll run on this little P23 processor. It is the screen recorder, very handy if you're recording the screen, say for games. Solid Explorer. Just a, a really good um, 
Let's check this thing. Uh, uh, yep. This is a nice file manager. Let's, let's check it out here. Uh, 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 SD card. Uh, I'm trying to read what that says. Uh, well, whatever. I got 115 gig free on the SD card, which is cool. This came with, uh, or 107 of 118 gig. Yeah, this thing works with all that. Isn't that cool? Uh, we've got our Google Rewards where you get free stuff. I was going to try it with the DJI Osmo. It didn't prove to work very well with that. Now, AirDroid Vid, or Android Pro uh, is an excellent app. You can just go ahead and just sort of stitch all your all your stuff together there. And you, uh, so when I go shoot a, uh, pictures for the car lot, I will go shoot approximately ten shots. The very last shot, I will always shoot the engine compartment, and I'll leave it open and swing into videos. And I'll shoot that even though it's the last segment. Then I'll get inside, shoot the interior if it's really cold out, or I'll do the walk around on the outside and then get inside. See, it doesn't matter what order. And then you go over to uh, Android Pro and click, click, click. Put them all together in the right order. No one knows the difference. Uh, Pixlr, eh, it's a little editor, it's handy. Uh, shot on. Well, I should put that little logo when you take photos with the name of your website or your your name or whatever. Uh, I bought the premium version, it was like $1.99. Once again, get the rewards app. Leave your location on and, you know, everything will be... I use Rocket Player, of course, and that's it. Now, there are a lot more apps on here, uh, but not a whole lot more. And uh, I really like uh, Nova Launcher, and of course, it's got Bluetooth on here, and I use Rocket Player with that. It might not be the best music player, but it works for me, it does random, and that way I can sit there and, you know, play with the electors, the MPOW M30s, or the sound cores, or the old uh, MPOW H7s. That's all, I mean, that's what I use all the time. Those are must-have apps. Uh, other than that, we're good, I mean, uh, you just don't need a lot. So if you found this useful, informative, or helpful in any way or have any question about those apps, uh, well, in anything, ask, share the video, like the video, and uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you found it useful. There's going to be a lot of stuff like this coming uh, in the near future, along with that, uh, hopefully, that Huawei P30 Lite when our stimulus check gets here. You know, if I live that long, we'll see. Uh, that's going to be it for today. I thank you very much for watching, and we'll check you out in the next one. Bye. I'm going to get to vaporize on my poor phone.